Hey, what's up guys? It's Frantic here with another build guide. Today we are going to be building my personal favorite build, the gun I probably use most out of any gun in the game, the N4A1. This build, once again, like I will say in every single one of my build guide videos, may not be the lowest recoil and it may not be the best ergonomics gun on the internet. You'll probably go and find someone else's build that has lower recoil, but for overall sustainability and what I found works best for me in combat situations, this is my hands down favorite build and probably favorite gun in the game, the gun I use the most. At first, you're going to want to get yourself a stock M4A1, either off the flea market from a player or find it in game. You can find these pretty commonly in gun boxes. This is what it will look like when you get it. And you're pretty much going to want to just right click and click disassemble. And the only two things you're going to want to keep are the actual receiver and the 307 millimeter barrel. That's all you need. You can sell all the other stuff either on the flea market or to skier or mechanic. And then for the parts that we're gonna wanna get to start, we are gonna wanna grab a, I don't know how to pronounce that, the Gen 3 upper receiver for the AR system. And you can go ahead and throw the barrel into that and then throw that onto the receiver. For the stock, you can use either the anodized red version of this, but I just use the regular black one, the SI Advanced Receiver Extension Buffer Tube. For the stock, I use the Magpul CTR stock. For the foregrip, you're going to use a Stinger Viper 10-inch M-Lock foregrip for the AR-15. For the magazine, the Magpul PMAG D60. Now, you can use any. You can use the uh, regular 60-round drum. You can use 30-round drums. doesn't really matter. I prefer to use 60-round drums just in case. Next, you will need the KAC QD compensator. And then the KAC QD SS NT4 silencer. You can find these pretty commonly in gun boxes and attachment boxes. For the grip. We're going to use the Narrow Arms Grawl S pistol grip. For the charging handle, we're going to use a Raptor, Raptor charging handle. And the gas block, the JP Enterprises gas system. You will need the NC Star MPR 45 backup mount. And the Palamo PK06 reflex sight for that backup mount. Now, for the scope, this can be swapped out with any sort of scope that you want. A Valde, a Voodoo, a Hollow Sight, any of the EOTech Hollow Sights, anything like that. I prefer the thermals. Now, I don't always use this. That's why I have a canted sight for up close uh, or if I need to go full automatic. And you will need a couple different guides for this. You'll need a Magpul M-Lock 2.5 inch guide and a Magpul M-Lock 4.1 inch guide. For the foregrip, everyone's favorite and go-to grip, the Zenit RK2 foregrip. And then for the laser, as always, an NC Star Tactical Blue Laser. And then this is pretty much my favorite build. We'll compare the specs from a stock on the left to my build on the right. You can see the ergonomics on the regular one are a little bit better, so you will aim down sight a little bit faster with the stock one at 61 compared to mine at 60. Uh, but the recoil is definitely better from 85 vertical recoil to 54 and from 235 horizontal recoil to 150. This gun can be used up close since it can go fully automatic with the canted sight or at long range with either, like I said, a Voodoo, the Fleur, a Reaper, any kind of thing like that. Other than that, this is my preferred build for the M4A1. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions on how I can make this gun better, please leave a comment down below, and I'm always open to suggestions. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps, and I really do appreciate it. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.